I don't know how any of this works if you can't tell. <laughs> Hey there everyone, my name is Haley, and welcome to the second episode of Pixie Craft. So in between episodes I did a little bit of exploring and gathering, so here's a little bit of a recap of everything that I did. So first I found an artifact tower and got some pretty good loot from that. Then I found a Thomcraft spider tree and got some loot there as well. I also found a massive village and once I was there, promptly fell into a cave, which was just great. But I also found a blacksmith, a tower, a building filled with magic books, a witch house, and a forestry building, which all gave me some good stuff. I then collected dark oak wood and found a weird obsidian monument, which had a lot of good items. I found another spider tree and then found another monument with even more good stuff. Then, because I'm impatient, I decided to jump off a mountain instead of finding a safe way down, but it's okay because I made it. Then I got some palm wood and tried jumping off a mountain again because it worked so well the last time, but this time I died. Pretty hard. Later, I found a lucky block that gave me a bunch of pet wolves, which was ridiculous. Then I got jungle wood and mahogany wood, but my wolves kept getting hurt on quicksand and cactuses, so I set them all down and made a waypoint so I can get them later. And finally, I collected some willow wood. So now that you're all caught up, please enjoy this beautiful sunrise and the rest of the episode. Okay, so on my little journey in between episodes, I did find a whole bunch of these books. We've got some Thaumonomicons, which are like the Thaumcraft guidebook, a bunch of the Tinker's Construct books, some witchery books, um, uh, Lexica Botania, which is like the Botania guidebook, and then um, these Book of Spells, which I don't really know what these do, but I'm sure we'll get into that at another time. Also, this wall might look familiar, but I think we stopped at this Witchwood last time. Um, and these new ones have been added since the last episode. So we've got willow wood, palm wood, mahogany wood, and lime wood, which I really, really like the mahogany and the lime. I think those are really pretty. And the lime one is actually a forestry plank. So since the forestry trees don't spawn naturally, and I really want to try and get some new, uh, trees, um, I decided to start trying to breed or fertilize or cross-pollinate or whatever um, some trees so that we can try to get some new different kinds. So in order to do that with the forestry mod, there's a bunch of different steps to it. Um, so the way it works is you plant two different saplings near each other and wait for them to grow. So I think I might actually cut this one down and grow it into like a smaller tree because this one's not growing and I think it might just be because this one's kind of in the way. So, um, you plant two different kinds of trees, and then you have bees near them so that the bees, like, cross-pollinate the trees, and then you have to have spectacles, or, well, back up a step, um, once the bees pollinate the trees, they will, or, like, the trees will have some pollinated leaves on them, and then you need spectacles to be able to see which leaves are pollinated because you won't be able to see them if you don't have these spectacles, which I've already made. Um, and then you also, to speed up the process, should get a treealyzer, which will analyze saplings. Um, but in order to do that, you have to have, make it in this carpenter. This is the recipe for the treealyzer, as you can see, but you have to have uh, power um, in order to make the carpenter work. So in order to craft the treealyzer, you do have to have power, which we do not have, and that's where I kind of left off. So now I did a little bit of research on these different engines so that we can have power, uh, and the ones that would be the most efficient right now would be the biogas or the clockwork engine. The biogas one runs on water but I think it also needs a lava source or something. It wasn't really clear. And then the clockwork one, you just have to right click it a whole bunch apparently. So I think I'm gonna try and make this one. So we need a copper gear, a clock, a piston, glass, and wood. Okay, so let's make that. And I'm not exactly sure how to like connect it all up. Um, we'll figure that out eventually, but Let's first just work on making this thing. Okay, so here is our clockwork engine, and then 
probably, I don't know if this will just automatically pump into the carpenter. I'm not sure how this works exactly. I'm just going to place it next to it. Oh yeah, it, I think it automatically faces towards it. And then if we right click it, this thing is changing color. So I don't know if that means it's like getting energy. Okay. Okay, so now we can, can we make it? Oh, it's filling up. So I think once this whole bar fills up, this will um, pop out and we'll have a tree -alizer so we can analyze some different trees and saplings. So that's really cool. Um, I'm excited to see, oh, these bees have probably run out by now. So let's put some new bees in there. And I'm trying to see what happens if I like crossbreed them. I don't know if it really will do anything, but might as well just check it out breed your bees crossbreeding drones and princesses of different species may net you with offspring of a new species okay so yeah looks like we need drones and princesses which we just have queens that wait did the i don't really know what just happened there but i think we'll figure it out eventually i'm gonna keep i'm gonna right click this all again until it gets to red because i think that means that this um will be fully powered Oh, this is all set. Okay, cool. So I think now, all right. So now we have a tree -alizer. So how do we, what do we do with this? Supply a sapling and provide honey or honeydew as catalyst. Okay. So nothing to analyze honey required. How do I get honey? Okay, well let's break this sapling. Put that in there. And then we need honey. So how do we get honey? Because I don't think I've ever gotten honey. I just get honey combs. So honey drop. We need a centrifuge. Yeah. And I think you just put in any honeycomb in there and it will... Yeah. Okay. So let's make a centrifuge. This is such a complicated process. So centrifuge okay so we need more copper another sturdy casing which is a bunch of bronze so I think I'm gonna have to probably go mining again because I don't think we're gonna have enough I think we used all of the bronze to make the um, the whatever that thing is the carpenter um, so let me now go and show you guys where we're going to set up a mine so this is, might look familiar, it's where the, um, this tower is. So there's this mountain over here, and I want to build over here because this is an extreme hills biome, which means when we're mining, we will be able to have, like, emeralds also. So there's this natural pool that was here, and I thought this could be really cute just for a design element, and we can build a little bridge across the pond into a mine shaft which I might make it a little farther. I don't think I will though, because I already started making a ladder down to the bottom of the world. And then this will just all be purely decorative. And then there's a little cave over here, which could also be part of a decorative thing, um, which actually has an opening to this really pretty little secret hidden area, which is not very secret because you can see it from like right there. But I think it just really is pretty. It's like a little center of the mountain that's just kind of missing so um, we could do like some sort of design or decorative thing in this area too that has to do with mining like maybe have like drills or mining workers like if we have villagers or something we could have some miners live over here that could be kind of interesting to have that so I think I'm going to start working on this a little bit so that I can get some more resources. Okay, so I think we have everything now to make this centrifuge. So it's the sturdy casing, copper, and two glass. Okay, so there's that. Let me get, I think I have honeycomb around here. I do. Okay, let me bring this over here. This probably will also require power. So I guess, let's see, we'll just put it next to this and we can move that uh, clockwork engine if we need. So, missing resources, so put the honeycomb in there, and yep, we need to move this so that we can give it some power. So let's charge this guy up, and then we should be all good. 
I hope, and this should give us honey, which we can then use in the treealyzer to analyze our saplings, and that will make the process of the, um, the pollinization faster. Oh, okay, good. We got some honey, so let me take this and open our treealyzer and put that in there with it. And, okay, so species, active silver birch, inactive silver birch. This is all like the exact same. I don't really know what any of this means. Um, okay, so the saplings average matures. Uh, do, okay, so if I put like another one, will that, or if I do it again. Okay, so this one has been analyzed, I think, because it's now called silver birch. So what if I go get, there was a red spruce sapling that I also found in a village chest, which um, just looked like a normal spruce sapling, so I didn't really think anything of it, but if I get that and put it in the treealyzer, maybe that's already, um, so I put a red spruce sapling, maybe it's already been like partially analyzed or something, and so it, okay. Let's see, so what if I put it in there again, or what if I put another one in there? I, got, I think I have to take this one. Red spruce sapling, okay, so that one's been, I don't know how any of this works if you can't tell, so what if I put another one in there? That just puts it back at one. Do I put more honey in there to make it, what is this? This gadget requires honey drops or honeydew for, okay, I get that. Do I just take it and put it? Oh, okay, I so I can see what all of the, okay, I don't know what any of this means. Let me kind of try to figure this out. So, all of this, are these like different genes or something? I don't really know. Possible mutations, how do I figure out what the possible mutations are? I don't understand this. I don't get it. Well, I'm gonna do that so that they're all like I don't know. I'm just gonna plant this sapling here. There we go. And then got more honey. I don't know what you do with beeswax. Let me check here. I can make torches with it. That's kind of cool. Okay. Well. Um, I guess I'll just wait, well let me cut down this tree and get saplings from this and then we can do the, um, the treealyzer on this as well. Okay, so now this is an apple oak sapling which has been analyzed so hopefully it will be faster. I don't know if that's how that works, but we'll see. And I'm actually also going to plant um, one of these red spruce saplings out here because, I mean, I have it and there's not really a point in not planting it. So let me pick that flower back up and put that back down. This whole process has been, like, so confusing and I just really hope it pays off. Um, I wish I had bones also so that I could bone meal those. <laughs> But I guess I'm just going to wait for a little while and see what happen it, what, oh my goodness, I cannot speak, and see what happens with those new saplings. While I'm waiting for the saplings to do their thing, I think I'm going to make one of these escritoires, uh, which will let me analyze bees and see, like, I can make new kinds of bees so I'm gonna do that I need to go to the carpenter to do that and I might also need some more water so I'm gonna grab some just in case so let's go over to the carpenter planks in that formation and we need seed oil what the heck is seed oil okay so I put I need a squeezer and I put seeds in the squeezer okay so this one needs a bunch of tin and a bunch of bronze so that's probably gonna actually have to wait a while um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to that anytime soon as I just don't have the resources right now for that 
which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. So I'm going to kind of try to clean up some of my chests a little bit because everything's super jumbled right now, which is not very handy for anything. Um, and then maybe I'll just go mining for a little bit more and hopefully these trees will start to grow pretty soon. Oh, it's uh, stupid forgot this stupid biome with its dumb grass which is really pretty but trees like this won't grow on it because it's not just vanilla grass so I'm probably gonna have to like do something like this so that grass doesn't spread into this area and then put a piece of dirt down instead and hopefully that will keep it from spreading I hope Okay, so I was looking at this beeswax again, and I guess um, you can make these candles with it, and I think this is actually drawing power from this, even though it's only pumping into this uh, uh, centrifuge, but let me see. Oh no, it just had power stored in it. So let me f let it finish um, doing this with the beeswax and the honey. And then we should be able to, um, hopefully, this is not staying dirt. We should be able to hopefully um, get some candles. And those are what these are over here. And they look nicer than torches. And the cool thing is you only, like, you light them like you would a normal torch. Like, if you had one in real life. Like, you take one and you put it on the ground and it doesn't produce light until you right-click it with a torch. Which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so now we have these little unlit candles here. Let me re re replenish the water so that it can make some more. And yeah, so now let's see. So if we put down a candle and right click it with a torch, it gives off light. And they look a lot nicer than torches in my opinion. Um, and I know there's like other lighting options in the game that probably are better than this but for now since we have the stuff to make them we might as well just make them okay guys so I've just been mining for a little while and as you can see my inventory got filled up really really quickly so I think it would be a big benefit if we made a backpack so let's see I like the adventure backpacks so I think we're gonna do that and then you can change it by surrounding it with different objects to make it a different color. I really like the um, magenta one. It's really cute and it goes really well with my skin. So I think that's the one probably that we'll do. It's really simple as well, so it shouldn't be too difficult. But we have to make the regular backpack first. So we need a chest, piece of gold, four leather, backpack tanks, and a sleeping bag. And the backpack tank is glass and iron. And the sleeping bag, if I go back to this, is carpet and wool so we're gonna need quite a bit of wool and quite a bit of glass so let me put some of this away that i found uh, i'm gonna definitely need to make another chest for ores and stuff because we're already kind of full up on that so let's pop this guy down right here Okay, I'm gonna go look for wool, and I think usually the magical forests have quite a bit of animals around, so let me check over here. There's a bunch of cows, which is good because I need some leather also. So we'll grab that. Did it give me any leather? Yay, it did. Okay. So let me kill some cows, find some sheep, and we will be on our way. Okay, we're just about set to make the uh, backpack. I need a piece of gold and I'm waiting for this iron to smelt but actually I think I have enough here for now so let's make the two tanks first here we go and then we need a sleeping bag so we need carpet and wool like this and then oh we need a chest so I'll make a chest right there so it's a chest four wool, um, a sleeping bag, the tanks, and gold. And there we go, we have ourselves an adventure backpack. Um, but before I put it on, I do want to 
make it magenta. So oh, I like these wildflowers. I don't really want to um, get rid of them. What kind of dye does lilac make? Oh, it makes magenta. But we don't have bone meal. But we don't have bone meal. Uh, okay. Well, I'll figure something out. I guess we can just wear it as is for now. Ta-da! Look at that! It's so cute! Okay, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. It probably was a little bit shorter today, but, um, I just kind of ran out of time to record and, uh, I need to figure out a solution to those trees over there because they don't seem to want to grow at the moment, but I'll do a little more off-camera work on the mine, make that look pretty nice, and hopefully next episode we can try to figure that out. Maybe we'll have to go off of peaceful mode so we can get some bones to bone meal the trees. One of them grew, but uh, we do, do need the other ones to grow as well. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.